Staying in it, bro. No. Please, please, please. Please. Her brother may be here. Bob. If you feel, if you feel like applauding, please uh, reserve that for a tsunami of applause later. And then we can commune as one. Arthur C. I don't have to explain it to you. You know what it is. It's the extinct volcano in the middle of the town. Okie dokie. Now I can get on with it without an explanation. We climb to the top of Arthur's seat. And look down on the castle. Through the ha 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 you could see Inchkeith and in the city the glint of marble was caught in the setting sun at that moment when we two were one. We stood there together with the whole town spread before us and the sun set over Glasgow and yes, the colours, they were glorious. Then the lights came on and street by street a transformation transformed. Least Walk, George Street, Easter Road, with Clarmiston beyond. Clarin. No, carry on, guys. I'm just trying to... Oh, there it is, yeah. Then I tried to explain to you how I felt. I was going on and on. But you weren't even listening. You were humming a Bob Dylan song. And then you turned and kissed me hard, taking me by surprise. I'll never forget the look on your face as I slowly closed my eyes. We were slipping on the shallow earth where the rock broke through. The rock was breaking through the shallow earth. And you slipped and I caught you and you laughed just then as I prayed that the moment would never end. The end. The end. 